So you see all of this? Do you see the yellowing? That's melting out. Do you see the spots? Leaf spot. Good morning, everybody. I hope that you all are having a blessed day. We are in a disease window. The disease is just running rapid, especially in my area. It's probably running rapid in your area too. But I want to show you all something because a lot of people always are looking forward to brown patch and dollar spot. I want to show you all something that you probably are not looking at. And the disease is melting out in leaf spot. So melting out in leaf spot is a disease that we normally will deal with when the temperatures are cooler. The pressure is still high, which means that your temperatures in the morning time may be in the 60s, but your humidity may still be in the 80s or the 90s. The pressure still is high. It's not hot, the sun isn't out, but the humidity and the disease pressure is still here. And what you will deal with is melting out in leaf spot. Let me show you an example. See how this yellow? Do you see those spots on that leaf blade? It's leaf spot. Now I've done a video on this and you can check that video out. I'll make sure that I put it in the link in the description so you can go back and you can look at that video. So what I've already done is I've hit that with a fungicide to go ahead and stop it in its tracks so that it doesn't continue to keep spreading and getting worse and worse and worse. But what you need to do when you are in a disease window like how we are right now, you don't apply in a preventative rate as far as throwing down the low rate you go at the high rate let me show you this is something that everyone is familiar with propiconazole let's open up the book really quick of course you need to apply your ppe make sure that you have on your long sleeves your gloves and your socks one thing that a lot of people don't do is they wash the hands afterwards make sure that you remove your clothing slash ppe immediately if pesticides get inside wash thoroughly and put on clean clothing remove ppe immediately after handing this product wash the outside of the gloves before removing as soon as possible wash thoroughly and change into clean clothing these are the directions do them so let's do a little reading for melting out slash leaf spot one to two ounces per thousand square foot under light to moderate pressure, apply Quail Pro Propiconazole 14.3 to reduce the severity of leaf spot and melting out caused by Helminthosporium type, Helminthosporium type pathogens. Okay, you already know that you're supposed to apply it. Let's go over here to this side where it says number six, under conditions optimum for high disease pressure use the higher rate and shorter application intervals the higher rate is two ounces your timing is 14 days you can do every seven days but stick with 14 days all right so i'm gonna try to make this short sweet and simple when your air temperatures and your humidity both equal 150 that means that you are in the danger zone of a disease getting in your lawn now that does not mean that you have to wait into them to equal 150 for you to start putting down a preventative the disease can get in your lawn if it's at 130 or if it's at 140 the main thing is is when it's at 150 it's got the keys to be able to get into your lawn whenever it wants to. If you're not dealing with funguses in your lawn, don't go getting these products and putting them down on your lawn. I'm not telling you to start putting all of these chemicals down on your lawn. That's not what I'm promoting. What I'm saying is, if you deal with funguses, then go ahead and start to try to protect your lawn the best way you can. And you do that by putting down a fungicide in a preventative rate. 
preventative rate if you're not seeing any type of funguses at all for propiconazole is one ounce per thousand if the pressure is high like how it is here now two ounces per thousand and when you put it down you want to make sure that you water it in okay now if you see leaf spot like what i seen you don't want to water it in you want it to stay on the leaf blade if you go out and you see some mycelium from brown patch or dollar spot you want to leave it on the leaf blade you don't want to water it in you only want to water it in is if you don't see anything because you want it to go ahead and get in your soil and start working now if you do see it if it is present you want to shorten up your window of your applications this propiconazole you can stretch this thing out to 21 days but if you're seeing a disease present you need to shorten that thing down to 14 days every two weeks now i know a lot of people may say man i gotta spray my line every two weeks well let me tell you something you put all of this money and all this energy and all this time into your lawn to dominate in the block you owe it to yourself to protect your lawn because if you don't protect your lawn some of these diseases can take your lawn out depending on what type of disease it is i'm not even going to mention this name <laughs> Some of these diseases can take your line out. And then you're gonna have to start doing everything all over. And then you're gonna be saying, no, I ain't gonna do that anymore. The disease window is high right now. It's June. If you haven't put down the fungicide and you get funguses in your yard, you better do it now. If you don't get funguses in your yard, this ain't for you.